Hello. Hey, Robert. Hey, Chip. What are we doing today? Well, today we're going to make some homemade laundry detergent. And um, we've got everything we need out here on the table. And this measuring cup, this measuring cup contains Fells naphtha. And you can see what else we have here. Uh, Purex crystals, pure baking soda, washing soda, borax, and OxyClean. So we're going to basically dump all of this stuff in a bag, mix it up, and be done with it. We have six Fells naphtha bars and you have to grate them up. So you just take a cheese grater and grate them all up and then that's the first step. Then basically you just dump them all together, mix them up like I said. So what we have total in, in what we have total in terms of ounces is 30 ounces of the Fells naphtha, 130 ounces of borax, 110 ounces of washing soda, 128 ounces of baking soda, 96 ounces of OxyClean, and 31 ounces of the Purex crystals. OxyClean! Okay, that totals 525 ounces. So all of these ingredients cost $53.76. So that totals per ounce, and it is 0 0.102 cents. So... So a little over 10 cents an ounce. Lower ten cents an ounce. Yes, yeah. and so we did an online search, um, and the online search revealed that most of the main brands run anywhere between twelve and sixteen cents an ounce. So overall, when we're comparing our detergent to the main brands, we are running considerably less per ounce. Um, I know some people might be wanting to know per, you know, like per load, what the cost is going to be. And that's a little bit more difficult to establish considering all of the factors that come into play when you're figuring this out, washer type, water hardness, uh, concentration, um, detergent concentration, and your load size. And even looking at the detergent makers suggestions, they're all suggesting using two whatever you know if you're using a, a pre-made package if you're using a pod they recommend using two um so therefore of course obviously if you have to double what the uh, package says you're doubling the cost per load so right now we're going to use one tablespoon per load folks question how much laundry detergent do you think you need per load of clothing Let's say that you have a top loading washer that's not one of the new high efficiency types and you're gonna pack it full. Let's say it's an extra capacity washer. You're gonna pack it full of 20, 25 pounds of clothes. How much, how much laundry soap do you believe you need for that load? And as Robert said, several factors come into play. One is the hardness of the water. The harder the, harder the water, the more detergent you'll need. Um, the size of the load, can matter some uh, the uh, obviously the efficiency of the washing machine just lots of things but we wash our clothes just so you know with this much detergent one tablespoon of this detergent we do have a high efficiency washer um, and but our water is moderately hard here so this much goes into any one of our loads regardless of the size um, sometimes if we're feeling lazy and we don't want to you know level this off we'll just throw a, a piled up one in there but this detergent works well enough to take care of a large uh, uh, load of clothing and this is all you need just a tablespoon and some people may have concerns with the the fells naphtha and the possible uh residue and greasiness left on clothing one person i spoke with refused to use this because they fear build up on their clothing from i guess it's the fells naphtha i'm not really sure but i i suppose i suppose it's that however i know this person uses tons of softener which does build up on your clothing <laughs> but anyway we've been really happy with the results we are low on 
what we've made previously. So we're doing it again, and this should last forever. No, I don't know. A long time. <laughs> but of course, obviously, this is like 32 pounds worth of detergent. So, and it is, it really is good, good stuff. And again, depending on where you are and how much the price of, item, of these items are in your neck of the woods, you know, at 10 cents an ounce is, can, you know, some, somewhat considerably less than mm -hmm. some of the other brands. So, there are a lot of soap recipes out there, uh, mm -hmm. laundry soap recipes. Some of them include higher proportions of some of these things than others. And if you are one of those people who lives off a grid or homesteading or something like that, and your, uh, your gray water drains into a garden or plants or something like that, you need to know that excessive borax can hurt those plants. It can burn them, it can hurt them. So be aware of that. The thing I like about making our own laundry soap is not so much the cost savings because some people will argue, well, you're spending more than an actual, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to argue with that. What interests us is the fact that we get to be closer and actually see the stuff that goes in uh, to our own laundry soap. I mean, we get to know what's in it uh, and we get to learn a little bit how detergents work. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago in this country that the way you wash clothes was to take a bar of something like Fels Naphtha and a knife and whittle off <laughs> shavings of it into the wash and just wash your clothes with it. Like Egypt said, there are lots of different recipes that you can use. Some of them don't put the, the scented crystals in. They use uh, essential oils. Some leave out this OxyClean. And I, I, honestly, these two boxes were the most expensive items on this table. And you know, if you could just go with these here or these things here I guess would probably be the borax soda and the naphtha would probably be the most basic recipe. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the OxyClean is to act as a hydrogen peroxide. Of course when it when mixed with the baking soda you're gonna have a chemical reaction mm -hmm. which will uh, clean. I don't know. Basically boils the soil out of clothes. <laughs> and two yeah boils the soil out of clothes. And two when you're deciding which type of laundry detergent to use powder detergent is better for dirt and things in your clothing. And again, you have to remember that at one time, the only thing you'll go back, you had the bar of soap, then jump to when I was a kid, you had Oxidol mm -hmm. and it was a powder detergent. And now <laughs> that was the brand Oxidol mm -hmm. was it. You don't buy anything else. Right. Um, and then now you have the pods, you have mostly, you know, liquid detergents is, if you go into the most of the stores around here, you don't see very many uh, powder detergent. Mm -hmm. Ten cents an ounce. Ten cents an ounce, and uh, versus, you know, eighteen cents an ounce or something like that. I think it's the highest we found for something like Tide. Mm -hmm. um, so, it is a savings. It is a little work. It's not as easy as simply just pushing your cart along the aisle and and uh, snatching up a box of Tide. But grading that is good for your arms. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to do and learn, and you know, it gives us a lot of soap, the better part of a five gallon bucket, and then we'll have it around for a long, long time. The stuff will last, you know, how long do you expect three gallons of this stuff to last when you're using this much uh, per load? So, I'll show you how we mix it. Okay, right now, I, um, I already put in the Fells naphtha. Now I'm putting in the baking soda. I just dump it in. And a good way to do this is just to oh, mix, yeah, to alternate just it. alternate, mix these items in, you know, as you go. That's probably a good idea. Uh, it makes it easier to mix. Put two of those maybe in. Okay. Or just like mix them a little. The toughest part of this job is fighting the boxes to get them open. <laughs> Boy, they are kind of difficult, aren't they? The borax box is really hard. Because that's a 20 mule team. Well, I'm not strong enough to get the mules off. You know, the kinds of chemicals that go into soaps these days. Most of this recipe is sodium bicarbonate and sodium percarbonate. Um, 
uh, so, uh, you know, and, and some boron, all naturally, you know, occurring materials mostly, salts, these Purex crystals are probably the, <laughs> the most complex uh, chemical that goes into these things. I don't know exactly what's in them. And again, you don't have to use them. You could use essential oils, which would be more, I guess, natural, I suppose. Yeah. But Phil's nap already has sort of a lavender. I do like that smell. Lavender? That Phil's nap, though. Phil's nap. Yeah, it's all right. And also, keep in mind, you know, you don't have to put scented stuff in your laundry detergent. You can save that cost. Uh, the Fells Nap that has some scent to it already. And another thing is you could use Dr. Bronner's scented bars of soap, the scented bars of soap, instead of the Fells Nap, the two, if you That's wanted. Yeah. I looked for those around here. I couldn't find any. What we wouldn't recommend is using something like Dove with one quarter moisturizing cream Probably not good for your clothes. All right, and more washing soda. And then, I'm gonna dump in the, um, the rest of the Fells Napa. Oh yeah, I forgot about I that. Forgot about it. That's okay, it'll be. <laughs> Can you hold that bag up? Oopsies. All right, and now, I'll start with my hand. <laughs> Here's a fun way to mix this stuff. Where's the bag? Where's the other? Uh, in it. We only have one bag here. Where'd the other bag go? Oh no. Oh, oops. It came out. I didn't see that. Sorry. Yeah. We pour all this into a bag and then we double it because there's a lot of weight here and you want to make sure your bag breaks. Stuff doesn't go everywhere. So here's how we do it. Yeah, that side, remember? Grab both those. There you go. We simply pick it up, grab a corner without tearing or stretching it, and toss it. Your turn. Okay, let's turn it this way so I can see it. Okay. Grab the end, toss it. There we go. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's pretty well mixed. Okay, let's hold it up and see. And, you know, there it is, pretty well mixed. Now, let's show you something. This, grab that tape. This is the scoop out of the OxyClean bucket. This is the tablespoon. <laughs> so, I mean, I think maybe we watch too many uh, laundry soap commercials and we think that we have to add, you know, this much to a wash in order to wash our clothes, when really all we need is that tablespoon. So, anyway. It smells really good. Uh -huh. And that's how easy it is. We'll put most of it into a three gallon or a five gallon bucket like this, uh, seal it up, but we'll take some of it and scoop it into you know one of these buckets uh, that we have left over and keep it near the washer when we need it and then refill it as needed. Do you want to put